Welcome, I'm Jordan Flack, and I'll be your host of the Top 10 News. Now let's get into that news, shall we? First piece of news of the day, folks, we have the cop killer, and the suspect has been apprehended by police, so if that is the right person, I'm happy that they're in custody, and hopefully justice will take over from here. Almost a thousand North Koreans that fled to South Korea has had their personal information hacked. It's believed that North Korea is responsible, but we don't know for a fact yet. Today, Marvel and the entire world remembers what would have been Stan Lee's 96th birthday. I'm gonna read this quote for you. I used to be embarrassed because I was just a comic book writer while other people were building bridges or going on to medical careers. And then I began to realize entertainment is one of the most important things in people's lives. Without it, they might go off the deep end. Marvel tweeted this out today. Rest in peace, Stanley. Let's talk Kmart. Kmart and Sears will be closing 80 additional stores in the next few months. Is retail dying? Let me know in the comment section below. Aretha Franklin's estate is making headlines today. Three million, yes, three million dollars and back taxes paid to the IRS. The IRS don't play. Two things in life guaranteed, folks, death and taxes. Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook founder himself, every single year, this guy makes a huge New Year's resolution. This year it was to fix Facebook, and he made a huge post on Facebook today and said he accomplished that goal. Let me know how you feel about that. Do you think he fixed it or did he make it worse? Mark Zuckerberg, how much money do you have? $53.8 billion. And it's, it's not just his money, folks. It's the influence that the social platform of Facebook really has on society. Next, we have Jungle Cruise. And yes, it is the Disney theme park attraction. Well, it's based on that attraction. And that is a very neat attraction. And this, I have a very reliable source actually for that information. Most of the top 10 news, very reliable source. But this guy, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is making $12 million more than Emily Blunt. Do you think it's because gender discrepancy or is he worth $12 million more? What's your thoughts? It saddens me to say that the world lost a young soul. Bree Payton, a conservative writer, dies at 26 after a sudden illness. RIP and best wishes to the family. Let's end it on a little lighter note. NBA basketball? And Lonzo Ball did not make it through the game last night. So Lakers, Lakers fans were a little disgruntled. They're a little worried. But don't you worry because Lonzo stated he's ready to ball out tonight. No pun intended for the whole game, folks. I want to personally thank you for hanging out with Jordan Flack. And if you like this video, give it a share.